I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. No, 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 because I've I got a strong mind. I don't fucking believe in fucking ghosts. I know, you don't believe in ghosts. I don't believe in ghosts. Go, 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 shit, I'm fucking... Go, 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 go. Hands out straight. Wait, right, let me get, let me get on that. Go, get your balance too. when you're ready. Right. Tell, me. Tell me when you're ready. Go. Fight me, eh? Yeah? No, 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 no. Go on, fight me. Yeah. You got in hard, so I, I'm gonna get, gauge yeah, yeah, how hard yeah, yeah. you go. <laughs> no, tell me when you're when you're ready. Go on. Let me help you your balance. Go on. Get your balance. Yeah, I'm trying to get on. Yeah, go on. Well, okay, this one. Go on, get your go. balance. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Now fight me. Eight uh, shots. Okay. Just see if it, just see if it works. I want you to go to the same yeah. power. You, you remember the power, yeah? You ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> All right. Go on. Get your balance. Yeah, I got balance. Yeah, fight me then, come on. Fight. You gotta push me down yeah. first and I'll fight I'm you. Gonna, yeah, okay, go, 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 go. Yeah. Go, go, go. Yeah. It's exactly the fucking no, same. No, no, pull it up there first, go on, pull it up there. Bread, 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 bread. Bad is a bastard. I'm, bread, he's, making, he's making it easy, look. he's making it easy for me. Go on. <laughs> yeah, it's the same. It's so shit, now take this, go on. Right, right, okay, right, 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 one more, one more. Right, I'm gonna hold it behind my back. Yeah. Okay, I've got it in my hand at the moment. Yeah. Or haven't I got it in my hand at the moment, you tell me. I'll keep my hand behind the back. So. I'm going to do it twice, yeah? So I know. Yeah. But, but you have to do it from here. You have to fight it from oh, here. Okay. Fight it from here. Okay. Fight it from here. You ready? You want to start yeah. fighting now? Yeah, uh, I'm fighting. Oh. Start fighting from now. You, we should be putting this in the internet. Yeah? Place. Now. All right. Again? Yeah? <laughs> this is why none of us get taken down. Yeah. <laughs> I guess what you have this up. This arm here open, all right? Well, okay, which one did I have it in? I don't know. You tell me. No, you tell me. <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> what one was harder to push it down? Uh, the second one. Yeah. yeah. yeah Bullshit. Yeah. Bullshit. Yeah. Bullshit. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm still on the fence about okay. this. It's a thing where supposed to apparently okay. you wear it and it helps your, yeah. your strength yeah. and balance. Yeah. So you put, there's been loads of different type of ones. Yeah. I don't know the full science behind it. Someone out there who deals with these things, send me an email or something because I want to know what. I don't know if it's a mental thing. And I'm, quite, I'm quite mentally tough, so I don't believe in ghosts or Father Christmas. No, so uh, I'm still skeptical, to be honest. This one's made by Mojo, but I've seen other ones. There's, there's quite a few out there, different, different fire mates and stuff, so. Welcome to Titan Fighter. This is the gym. Uh, I'm going to show you around. <laughs> I'm here with Mickey. This is uh, the head coach of, uh, of Team Titan, and uh, he'll introduce you and uh, tell you a lot about the gym. Um, basically, this is uh, Titan Fighter Gym, and um, we're here with uh, some of the guys who are the fighters fighting today, um, training their um, ground fighting with uh, Enrique Santana, who's a black belt jiu jitsu guy. Um, basically, this is an MMA gym where you basically have your wrestling, your striking, your grappling, your uh, MMA cardio classes that um, guys can come down, whether they're beginners or intermediate, and do their classes in the evenings and fighters in the mornings. So pretty much we've got three coaches here, wrestling coaches, a couple of striking coaches, and MMA coaches that will help the guys you know, um, improve their uh, skills and their levels. This is a bagged area. You know, does the job. Can't sell that any more than just heavy bags. And here's the cage. It's quite nice and firm. Bit of a small cage is good because it makes you, it's not a full size cage you can find in the UFC or other shows like that. Um, but it gives you the, the environment which is needed. And also it's smaller so it, I like it more because it makes you engage. So there's no running away from this cage. Okay, we'll go to one of our first fighters who's not doing nothing at the moment. <laughs> I can only roll with Rico and Mikey because no one else has purple belt. Brad, unfortunately, is still white belt. No, but, but he has a black belt in Man Beast. I've got a black belt in Man Beast. Yeah, so. he, he, I've only got two stripes in Man Beast. Still. That's so, right, two stripes. Yeah, two stripes. He's, he's working on his blue I'm belt. Try, I'm really trying to get my blue belt. I, I, I need to fight like Brad more, you know. I look up to him. He's like, 
father figure. Not really. He's taller <laughs> than me, so it's quite hard. Actually, no. Look down on him. Talk about your next fight. Uh, hopefully, you know, I don't want to say too much, but you know, title in the line on a certain, you know, UK show. I have to leave it like that. I can't, you know, let too much information. He, he wants to fight an UC MMA for the title. That's what he's looking for. I wasn't meant to say that. Well, I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt you, homos. This is Chris Gregg, and this is Dyson Roberts. Right. You know, both fighters. Uh, doing a bit of jiu-jitsu right now. Let's have see what you got. Oh, 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 look at this. We made him come alive. Oh, look. oh, oh stop there, stop, stop. Oh, you wouldn't have had that anyway. <laughs> that, he's too strong for you. Oh, no. Anyway, this is uh, Dyson Roberts. I uh, first met this guy a few years ago in this gym. He was here for the uh, reality TV show Fighting Hurts, and uh, he, was, he was on that, which was good. Um, you know, and he's come a long way since. You know, he's been training hard and. You know, here he is today. Who do you want to fight and when do you want to fight? Well, recently just had an altercation with a known fighter called Jermaine Facey. Um, basically, the bottom line is I knocked him out, but I shouldn't have. I'm not proud of it. It was the wrong circumstance. It wasn't in the cage. But after a year of being disrespected, non-stop, even bringing my family into it, he caught me at a bad day, um, pushed the wrong buttons, and after take, turning down rematches, I did knock him out, like put him to sleep, like Sparko. Uh, we don't condone his actions. I don't it, condone my own actions. He did what he did, it's done now. He, he apologises. He's not sorry for what he did, he's more sorry for what he'd done in, in the circumstances. He disrespect Dave and, and the show, what he did. But what he would like to do now is obviously, you know, apologise and maybe try and get this fight to happen. It, it may or may not happen, but. You know, I let men do to try and settle out the differences in the cage, you know? Yeah, so. no, men, like, I'm, I'm only human. I can only take so much. Um, uh, Dave gave me the opportunity to begin with and I've thrown it back in his face. And for that, I regret. I shouldn't have done it. No, I tweeted it straight away. Um, I'm a professional fighter. I shouldn't have conducted myself in that way. I should have just been able to just bite my lip for that little bit longer and then just deal with it at, in, another, in another manner. But I didn't and I've made the mistake and... and because of that, I've, I've been barred from UC MMA. I have to fight on other shows and I'll take it on the chin because I made my bed so I've got to lie on it. Um, hopefully that will pass and I may be able to get, I may be able to get back on the show but we'll see that. Um, yeah, uh, even though it was a bad move, um, Jermaine Facey being the guy he is, felt it's best to tell his I don't know, everyone he comes in, into contact with that I punched him in the back of the head. Now, it was in his face and he was facing me and he pushed me. So it wasn't for no reason. I didn't just go up to him and hit him. He was sitting on the stairs to the cage. I just want to clear this up, by the way. He shouldn't be sitting on the stairs anyway. As I was going in to congratulate Ben Smith on his win, Jermaine Face was sitting on the stairs, didn't want to move, so I tried to step over. He pushed me. Turned around, started giving me the mouth. I didn't even retaliate with mouth, I just hit him. It was a reaction. And for that, I'm paying for it. But he should fight me again. He doesn't have to. He, he beat me, he beat me fair and square. I can't take that away from him. But it'd be a good fight that I think a lot of people would want to see. So if he's mad enough or wants to get some kind of payback, payback then fight me, whatever show, whenever. Just, so. Yeah. It may or may not happen, but if so, let's hope Dave makes this happen. You know? It would just be a good closure to the whole situation. This is uh, Enrique Santana, you know, uh, one of the top fighters on the gym, BJJ coach here. Uh, just recently won something. I I'll bring him back, talk to you for a sec. Go. Hi, guys. Uh, like I say, I'm Enrique Santana, I'm the BJJ coach, in, uh, the head BJJ coach in Team Titan. And uh, looking forward to see you guys in the gym soon. Yeah? I believe this belongs to you. Oh yeah, tell oh, them, tell, tell them beautiful, mm, beautiful. This? Well, this is a WFC World Championship. I actually won them in um, May 7 against uh, Dan Mitchell, was the main event. And uh, yeah, I recently have been challenged. Um, from He's challenging you. Might be a, a freak because, you know, he don't have idea what he's talking about. Challenge me. Gina Mansinga. Ha! Funny. Well, 
That's it. Uh, double FC2. Gina Van Sneeuw, step in the cage. And you're going to call my name. Charlie in the belt. I will bring it. Beautiful, huh? Mikey? Come on. No, it's good you tie. All right. This is Michael Pastu. How you doing, guys? Good friend and a very good teammate of mine. Yeah. Uh, he's not gay, even though he doesn't come across <laughs> quite gay. Uh, but uh, yeah, talk, talk him through what's just going on with you. Um, had my last fight, Dominic Plum. Trained the uh, Mega Top team for 10 weeks with Brad out there. Um, really up for the fight, ready for anything. Dominic uh, threw a couple of illegal elbows, which rocked me a little bit. But uh, I thought the rest should have gave me a five uh, minute to recover because uh, after a couple of minutes I was fine and I really wanted to fight because uh, all the training was uh, for nothing really. I got the win, but not the win I wanted. But um, that's how this sport is and this is how life is. So going back to America, talking to me with Brad in a couple of months, in about a month's time. And then uh, spoke to my manager, James Walsh. So he's trying to get me a fighter now, uh, maybe from Sweden or someone, somewhere, and uh, uh, quite, quite a tough guy. And uh, we'll see what happens from there. But I'm really looking forward to my next fight because, like I said, didn't get too much, didn't get to fight my last fight. So I'm looking forward to getting back in that cage quickly. And the last fight before that, I got knocked the hell out. So uh, <laughs> that wasn't very nice. So uh, yeah, I just want to get back in now. And uh, yeah, I'm keeping the weight down. I'm not blowing up like I used to. Um, and see. Also, uh, he's keeping the weight down because he wants to try and see if he could get himself into the Alma Firehouse, yeah. the next one. So you can't go in there too big. You know, I think it'd be a great opportunity for him. You know, uh, he's been around a long time now, and, and this will open loads of doors for him. So. But I just want to say something. This man is going to be the UFC champ. 135. Mark my words. Today, this guy is going to be the champ. I've seen, I saw the, the fight with Dominic Cruz and uh, Faber and this guy, trust me, they got nothing on my boy, Brad. I'm telling you, number one, I'm telling you, number one. Okay, I'm here with Bola Omayeli. Uh, he's uh, one of our good fighters from this gym. He's uh, sweating like he's on a rape charge, but uh, talk us through your last fight. Well, you know, it was a good fight. Guy was game. You know, thank him for taking, taking on uh, the short notice fight within a month, but you know. I just have to do what I have to do, innit? Man beast. Who's next? What's next? Who do you want and what's going on? Well, I want someone that's, you know, recognised, you know, one of the um, top, you know, UK circuit guys, you know, Amazon, Gunny, uh, Dusky, yeah. them sort of names, you know, that's going to get my name recognised. And I believe, you know, once I fight one of them, people are going to really see my, my, my proper skills. You know, I can express myself rather than just a quick minute. I'm really, uh, as I say, I'm coming back from injury now. I'm feeling good. I'm just, now I'm looking to start fighting. I'd like to fight at the end of October, try and get myself on the Nick Diaz GSP card. That'd be perfect for me. That's the end of October in the MGM. Um, as of opponents wise, I want to fight people up there, you know? So I, I'm looking at people like Uriah Faber, Bowles and that sort of stuff. Uh, it depends, all depends who gets the next tile shot. If Bowles gets the next tile shot, it makes it hard. But if Demetrius gets the next tile shot, that leaves Bowles out there. And I honestly believe that me and him would be a great fight. I'd love to fight Brian Bowles. And hopefully the winner of us two will get a tile shot, you know. And I, me, honestly, I believe it will be me. And then I'll get a shot at Cruz, which would be a dream come true. Long term, obviously, I, I'm 32. I honestly don't believe I've got ages left in the sport, you know, because of injuries and stuff like that. Obviously, I'll keep, keep going as long as I possibly can. But uh, eventually, I, I'd uh, try and reach the top and try and win that belt and try and hold it, uh, hold it as long as I can. And then if I get knocked off the top, then I'll probably hang my gloves up and, you know, go into coaching and uh, try and, you know, teach my style of man beast. Yeah, it, it kind of like man, man beasting. How can I describe man beasting? It's just when it's not. It's, it's like you don't have to be the most technical fighter. You just have to have, uh, you know, uh, an iron chin, uh, you know, willpower, and be able to break someone down mentally, and and just be in someone's face and come coming forward. And uh, you know, obviously you need technique, but 
you know, you don't, you don't do things too flashy. You just hit, try and hit someone hard, take them down, beat them up, and break people mentally. You know, uh, and that, that's my style, and, and that's just the kind of style I like to teach. You know, teach people how to win fights, not trying to look good and lose. Try and just win fights in, in a in a not boring fashion. Don't get me wrong, but it, in a way of breaking someone down and just beating them up. There's, there's a lot of people out there who have that sort of style, which you know, like someone like Chelsea and all that sort of stuff. You know. They're, they're, they're wrestlers, but they're not really boring. They're active on top, and, and that's why I like to be. I, I take people, I beat people up standing up, take them down, beat them on the floor, and you know, just constantly in your face. And also to be a man beast, you need to be able to take a shot and not get scared of getting hit and still come forward. You know, that's what's my definition of man beasting. I'm here. This is uh, the gay lord, Ricky Bappus. I'm here with Bola. You know. Ola Yemi. Ola Yele. Ola Okay, well, right, I can't fucking say it. Ola <laughs> Make sure you put all of this in the middle. Okay. You can't do the tongue twister. Okay. Ola I'm here with Boma. <laughs> Boma. <laughs> I'm with cash flow. <laughs> 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 okay. 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 